Hey guys, what's up? So before I moved to New York, when I was in Israel, I remember my mom was always telling me every time I was hitting this wall, that happened every couple of months, that I just felt the worst about my playing, and just like that I'm really, really stuck, and I just don't know what to do, and everything I play sound the worst, literally. And when I was hitting this wall, my mom was always saying it's a good thing, and I was like, it's not good, it's awful. She's saying it's good because I'm hearing things in a more clear way. Now what I want to talk about today is seven points that really helped me and still help me to kind of get out of this place of like, whoa, what's going on with the music? If you ever feel you're kind of stuck and don't know what to do, for me these seven points really helped. Check it out. If you dig this video and want to support me doing more of this stuff, the best way to do it is by liking the video, maybe commenting or even sharing it with a friend. Um, the track for this song here is on my Patreon, thank you. One, focus. This is a key element because when we're learning music, we need to really be there. So what I do for that, I kind of dim the lights oftentimes, I turn my phone off, try to close the laptop, just try to create an environment that is not distracting for me. So although it's very simple, it is very effective. Two, the good, the bad, and the takeout. What I'll do is I'll record myself. Oftentimes I'll do a video, I kind of like seeing how I respond to the music. And I'll listen to myself and I'll kind of judge myself. And I'll have four columns at least. These are the basic four I started with. The first one is like, then don't like, work on and take out. So basically I'm gonna write here things that I like about the solo. Now it doesn't have to be just music, it could be like, the sound of the guitar, I like how I was chill, you know, or I don't like how I was super stressed and I don't like that I was sitting like this or, you know, whatever. Work on, you know, I'm playing this phrase and it seems like I'm trying to play this diminished line and every time I'm getting there, not happening. But I have the idea, the conception, so I need to work on that. Then take out. Sometimes, you know, you listen to yourself and you do these weird things, like, I don't know, you do these slides or something, like at the end of every solo, you don't like it, you don't need it, take it out. As improvisers, we basically need to edit our playing to the point that we can create that live. So this is a part of the process. Three, imagine you're telling a story to someone. This is really helpful for me because I feel sometimes I'll just play notes and play things I hear, but maybe it's not as truthful as it can be. And when I imagine a story, it really helps me kind of connect to the moment and make real music. Try to say something to someone, maybe it's your friend, maybe it's a girl, maybe you just met her. Just try to create a story with the music and try to be there, be present as much as possible. I'll try now, check it out. It's walking down the street. from your line. It could be changing the last note, it could be changing a rhythmic idea, it could be jumping an octave, it could be a dynamic thing, it could be a lot of things, but just change one element. Yeah, same thing. Change. Five. Do less. The music is here, just let it be. I know it's hard, I'm trying to think about it every day, Space is the place. So just try to tell yourself that you don't need a lot to make things sound good. And I think for me, listening to people like Ahmed Jamal or 
I mean, a lot of blues artists do that all the time. Of course, Albert King, B.B. King. Just that one note can hit your soul. So just let it be. Six, just groove. Take one line, one idea, lock it in and make it dance. Seven, slow it down and make sure you're hearing it. Oftentimes I'll play something, then I'll really slow it down to almost zero and sing the note, sing the line, make sure I'm hearing and understanding the relationship between the center, the note, and the chord that is being played. Again, this is not theory because it's really like you're tagging the sound colors and emotions of your line. Thank you so much for listening. I hope this was helpful and interesting. If it is, please share it with a friend and I'll see you guys very soon. Peace out. Just walking on the street. And I saw this girl. I decided to say hi. I was a little nervous. But she said hi. We started talking. Then, things got kind of strange. She told me she's not from here. I said, well, where are you from? She was like, very far.